Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. And uh, we are in a very unique looking um, flashback, or a nightmare, depending on your preference of clowns. So, in terms of our to do list, we've got Ransom the Bleeping Clowns to Bleeping To List, put on Clown Nose, get my Bleeping Joke Book back, get my Clown Fro looking Bleeping Grade, apply my Bleeping Awesome Clown Makeup. Go on stage and insult the bleep out of those idiots. P.S. My life is amazing and bleep you for being jealous. He seems like a confident guy. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the clown. Can we pick those up? I glued them to the table so no one can steal them. Ah. My circus poster featuring the amazing Ransom the clown. That's me face <laughs> can't use the clock clock oh there's the clown nose it's a prototype ransom the clown doll it's a perfect likeness of me well maybe the nose is a bit too big pick up there we go ouch that's tight but it'll have to do glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours it's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Except now, it's missing its nose. My hair is all frizzy and I'm not wearing my special Ransom Clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. Yeah. Garbage can, faucet. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, Lone Ransom the Clown, $1,000, and will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. Oh, we own some money. That's why we don't have the joke book. It's my lawyer's business card. It's my lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick, JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. What the hell is this? The number of letters in the top right word of the big top sign. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. Hmm. The number of letters in the top right word of the big top sign. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. That's weird. My housekeeper does a pretty good job of keeping this place clean. Use faucet. <laughs> Fair enough. Anything good? Apparently not. What about... No time for food. I have to get on stage. That doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Is that everything in here? Lumpy poster. Why is it lumpy? It came off the wall. Ah, okay. There we go. It's my locked safe where I keep all my money. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Turn left. That's where we got to find all that stuff. I give up. Well, that didn't work. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. F you! He's a popular guy, isn't he? Well, this must be the... Circus back during happier times, relatively. Walk to circus grounds. Oh, good lord. Ah! What a f 
easy job. Just stand and wave. Hey, it's Dave. Hey, Dave. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need to make my big stage entrance. The Stupendous Brothers Traveling Circus. Go on stage, find the information about my safe combination. Now what was it? It was the fir the numbers of the last words on the big top, so that would be six for circus. Hmm. The number of letters in the top right oh, word top of the right. big top sign. Two, the three, number four, of clouds five, six, in Carney Joe's shooting eight. gallery. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Nine, okay. So clouds and number of kids Carney Joe has. It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. Well, that's something. Let's, uh... That doesn't seem to work. Oh, pick up. I'll just take the big bucks. It's exactly 138 bucks in unmarked bills. I'm not a wannabe pirate. You'll never get me to climb into one of those. Fair enough. It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do hats. Hair gel? This goop keeps my clown fro erect. Can't have a limp clown fro or anything else. Sound life advice. Can we use it? Oh, my clown fro looks great now. Good. Huh. <laughs> makeup, huh? It's my special custom-made clown makeup. I am tired of putting it on every night. Sure as wish there were a more permanent variety. Yeah, no you don't. Now there's the face I love. There we go. Let's take a look here at Ransom. Can we actually... Yeah. That, that definitely looks like a superstar. I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget my best lines without it. And we can't open any of the drawers. Let's see what the rest of this place looks like. Midway? It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Uh. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. Win a fine leather jack. Talk to, uh, there's Carney Joe. Number of clouds in the shooting gallery. No wait, take a shot. Three. So, nine, three. He is too far away. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown. Asswipe. Okay, you got my money ransom the asswipe clown? One thousand clams or you're not getting your joke book back. It serves you right for playing the duckies. Hmm. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the 13 kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. I wonder if he was in, like, the sewers. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f*** am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do! 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark! You are putting a squeeze on me. Not my problem. Well, we've got the 138 from the square jar. You, I'm out of here. And we can't head that way. So let's head back to the circus uh, grounds. Step right up. So 9313. All 13 kids, good lord. And hopefully that'll open the safe. It's my locked safe where I keep all my 
money. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Turn left nine. Okay, now. Three. And finally. Thirteen. Tough. Da. Next time, I'm setting it to one, two, three. That's amazing. I have the same combination on my luggage. How much? It's exactly $1,138 in unmarked bills. Yay, for THX references. Well, that should be enough to get the joke book back, and I think we're in good shape. Go ahead. Oh, man, I, I actually am slightly irritated Lots by the squeaking. Surprises. You got my money, Ransom the ass white clown? I have your money. A thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Yeah, hey, take a sh- It's my joke book. No spoilers here. You have to wait for my show for the jokes. Yeah, shoot Fair the enough. pussycat. Let's look at the to-do list. Go on stage and insult the bleep out of those idiots. Looks like we've done everything that we need to do. I can't walk oh. in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. Whoops. Oh, it's showtime. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. Holy crap. So, okay, there's Green Tentacle. There's, uh, Dr. Fred and Nurse Edna. That is awesome. How many other can we see here? Probably stuff from a ton of uh, other scum games. And I think the comic book guy from The Simpsons. All right. Hmm. <laughs> What's the deal with these bleeping Tron machines? You guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris is the Eiffel Tower. New York has the Statue of Liberty. And Thimbleweed Park has a pillow factory. You better hope to God that feather pillows never go out of style. I guess we can just go down the line here. I was amazed you weren't a bunch of fatzos. What with all this bottomless foie gras and champagne you have at the parties here. Then I ate at your diner. Their food is a better purgative than Ipecac. Hey, lady with the huge nose. Dude with the stupid mustache. Hey, you kid with the crappy wheelchair. Ooh. Um, where's the lady with the huge nose? I guess maybe Miss Streisand right here? Hey you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. Oh, she's crying. Ooh. Hey you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. I actually like that. It's the Sam Elliott mustache. Hey you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Whoa, hell's bells. Old lady with the mole. Where's that at? Hey you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the 
and roller coaster by itself. It's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't gonna be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen. Yeah. What the f This makeup isn't coming off! You up the <laughs> you. Come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't Oh, he could off. even take the that nose. old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old My lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress, and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen, and your house burned to the ground. <laughs> the toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. And there you go. Couldn't have happened to a nicer clown. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Achievement unlocked, people. <laughs> but we still need to find out what happened to uh, Reyes. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Hmm. Do you have a law enforcement discount? And by discount, I mean free. I think I understand, honey. And yes, we do. Nice. But well, we don't need any food right now. Don't leave town. I'm watching you. Anytime. Well, I mean, at least Dave and Sandy are still together. Where did we go wrong, Dave? I don't know. <laughs> but if we can pull this off, I think we'll be fine again. I love you, Dave. I just want things to go back to how they were. Me too, Love Muffin. Snuggle cakes. So, what are they doing? It's like everyone's got an ulterior motive here. Go talk to Ransom the Clown. Man, that to-do list is piling up. Now we've got that path over here. Let's... We can actually walk to B Street. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. Blowout puppy sale. PD's Pet Emporium. The pet store is for rent. Guess no one around here has any pets. cat o -strophic clearance. It's a dime just lying there. Oh, dimes are good things in these games. Ricky's Cakes. Um... Okay. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks of false advertising. Sorry about that, hon. This used to be Ricky's Cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. What an exciting life you lead. Anyway, 
I'm Special Agent Ray. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hun? Huh. Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. Tubes for rubes, TM. Tube Town, YouTube. Down the tubes. As much as I want to go with YouTube. Down the tubes? Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. If you get rich, you owe me a cut. Hmm. Why did you stop selling cakes? Well, I didn't have much choice. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business really slowed down. Oh, I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. Why did you choose to sell vacuum tubes instead? Well, hon, it's the darndest thing. At first, I just sold a few spares I had lying around to try and help the bakery. But pretty soon, those bad boys were selling better than the hotcakes going stale on my racks. Sounds like everyone got replaced with robots. Kind of. Are you really this happy about selling vacuum tubes? Oh, you betcha. These tubes are my life's calling. I thought I'd miss the smell of fresh bread every day, but the smell of ozone from the tubes is even better. And their electrical glow is as warm as an apple pie fresh from the oven. It kind of reminds me of uh, World's End, which was the third film in the uh, Blood and Ice Cream trilogy. What do you think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. He was my hero. His booming economy gave us the bakery, and now his two-based technology is giving me a chance to keep my store open. I think it's just the boost the town needs. What do you think about the state of the town, then? It's not as bad as people make it out to be. A couple of stores have closed, sure, but it's just going to make way for new, fresh businesses to bring life back to the town. I'm sure in no time at all, the town will be completely rejuvenated. Let's see if we can grab a tube, because we couldn't grab one off of that uh, radio earlier. I'm looking for a tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? Oh, Lord. Oh, um... I'm all to doubt. Thanks. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. What was it? We needed something. Wonder what Ray has got himself into. <laughs> A WC-67. Hey there. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. <clears throat> well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. I'm looking for a tube. WC. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? For Wing Commander. And what is the make number? Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? Uh, yes. The Pigeon Sisters need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Well, that... Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Well, let's go ahead and keep exploring this way before we head back to the pigeons. Holy crap. Thimbleweed County. Aaron Goldsmith. Aaron Sanders. Oh, I'm sure these are all maybe the Kickstarter people. Let me see if the Edisons are in here. Ed... Aw, I guess they just visit, I suppose. Alright, that is interesting. That's a cool way to uh, get everyone in the game, though. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord to the receiver is cut. Otherwise, it looks fine. Not that I care, but I'm starting to get a bit worried about Reyes. I, I am too, but there's not a whole lot that we can do. Because <laughs> we can... Wait! Oh! Okay. Reyes is alive. I 
need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Well, yay. We are not dead. It looks like we got some dead bodies here. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. And when we get back, we will um, check out and see where exactly Reyes is and if we can reunite ourselves with Agent Ray. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.